I've created a project with two different classes. One is called the two event participants and the other is called the participant. Now, here's what they do. <clears throat> In this first one, which has the driver, the public static void main, I've created from this class called participant. Let's take a look at this class called participant. I've created from this class a uh, <clears throat> an object. And in this class, we have a string called name, integer called age, and a string called address. So we have the name, age, and address of the participants. Doesn't say the participant of which event, just participant. And we have our, <clears throat> so here is our constructor. And in our constructor, we're passing in the, uh, the string, and this is going to be the name, uh, integer value for the age, and we're passing in the string for the address. So <clears throat> these are initialized when we create the object. And in this, what we're doing is that we're returning whatever value is set for the name, we're returning whatever value is set for the age, and whatever value is set for the address. And the output, we're returning the name, age, and address. Okay. And finally, we have a method which we call equals. It's going to return a true or false result. And <clears throat> we're passing in the uh, data type of participant and we're calling it P. So in participant, you remember we have the name, age, and address that we're creating for each one of these, adding to each one of these and we're determining if they are equal. Uh, so we have participants in different events and what we're doing is that we're comparing the name, getting the name, and seeing if they are the same. So if the age is the same and if the address is the same, uh, then they are equal. Okay, and that result turns, uh, in that result, the Boolean value is going to be true if they are equal. Okay, so let's go to two participants. So this is the driver for our program. And when we um, <coughs> run the program, the output is enter the mini marathon participants. And so this is for the marathoners. And we're in this array, we're going to have two sets of values for the participants. One for the marathoners, one for the, the divers. So first we go through and add the name, age, address for each one of the marathoners. And then when we're done with that, then we go through and add the name, age, and address for each one of the divers. Okay. And finally, remember that method in participant, which is equals? Well, in this case, we can, we can check it out to see if anyone in the marathoners is equal to anyone in the divers. So if you have one or more people who are in the uh, marathon and the divers, they should display here. Okay. So we can go ahead and run this. And I can click Run. 
and I'll enter some data name age and address and then for the second one Okay, and now for the diving participants, I'm going to enter in some data and try to make sure it's the same. Age was 33, and the address was. And then okay let's see if we can get a match between the divers and the marathoners so no participants who were in both events uh, looks like it did not come up with our participants. So what happened is, is I probably typed in some value which was not the same. Name, name. Okay. Okay. Well, what I needed to do was to enter the information in exactly and they should have come up with the same value. I can try it again, but in essence that's what this program is that's what this program does. So using two classes, two different classes, um, the first class is two event participants. It has the driver, which I'm calling the main method. And then this other class, the participant class, is uh, a class which we can call for these two different objects. So the one class we're making two different objects and not only are we making two different objects but these are arrays. An array of objects. Okay, so that's what we're getting out of this one. And that's all.